the blood that Jesus shed on Calvary one day. It must not, church, suffer loss. Would you do service for Jesus, your king? Only through the power of God can you testify of a truth that Christ is in your life. Satan will not allow you to testify to the truth. But if the power is within, you can resist his resistance and declare on the mountaintop, I've been redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus that has washed me and have made me clean. Nothing but the blood. Nothing can wash away the sins of mankind like the blood of Christ. Let us pray. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we come with a heart full of praise and thanks tonight for all things. For the blood that Jesus shed, that we might be worthy to declare thy name, that we might truly be the children of God, because the blood does wash, it does clean, it does make whole. Father, we pray, dear Lord, that you will remember us tonight as we come to this portion of the service. Give us an ear to hear what thus saith the Lord, a mind to accept and the willingness to obey that we might be known to be the chosen people of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we do ask and we do thank thee both now and forevermore. Together can we all say, Amen. Give an honor to God and to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to the ministers of the gospel, to the diggers that are assembled, to the congregation, say good evening and may God bless you. For truly God is good and his mercy endureth to all generations. Thank God for the 10 days of fasting and prayer and for bringing us all the way up until this day. With no break, but at the right time. Amen. Sometimes don't eat then. Because if you're doing something, and you can't get to the table, just keep right on fasting. That's nothing new here. Amen. Some folks are addicted to food. Amen addicted to it and don't get between them and supper time amen as elders say you sing the song oh how you love Jesus say, but if he came in your church and turned over your chicken and threw out all your punch Amen. How much love would be shown then? 
You don't get between folks and their food. That's why God has designed it that the fast that he has chosen will break the bonds, weaken the body, and then the preaching of the gospel will strengthen the soul through your acceptance. Amen. You got to accept this. And when you hear the voice and you open up, then he comes in. And whatever is in you that is not of God has got to go. You see, there is no communion between light and darkness. God and the devil. Christ and an infidel. There's no communion there. You cannot make a pact or an agreement with the devil because he's a traitor. He's a liar. He's a thief. When you know anything, he's done took everything you got and you are left with nothing. Just like one of the elders in the church some years ago, him and a man on the job complaining about the job. Man said, let's quit. He said he quit and the man kept working. That's the devil. You try to make an agreement with him and you're going to lose because there's no agreement between light and darkness. Light is the greater power and whenever the light is turned on, darkness flees. And where do you find darkness? Everywhere the light doth not shine. Amen. Jesus came. He was the light of the world. And he came unto his own, and his own wouldn't even receive him. But John said, unto them that did receive him, gave he them power to become the sons of God. Truly, we thank God for all the life of Solomon Mishaw and his companion. We thank God for the scroll which reads obedience, love, reverence, and respect. We thank God for the standard, the principles, and the teachings, and the doctrines of Christ. Amen. That if we live accordingly every day, not on a part-time basis, but every day, if we live godly in Christ Jesus, expect to suffer persecution. But afterwards, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness. There's a reward in the end. As Paul says, I have fought a good fight. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord shall give me at that day. Church, there is a happier day ahead when all the saints shall sing praise the Lord but before you get there you got to suffer thank God for the theme of is it worth your soul last night we spoke about the empty soul the soul that has no purpose. It has no meaning, no initiative, because it's empty. Amen. Tonight we want to speak to you about the hungry soul. Amen. The soul that is hungry, you know how it is when you get hungry, you start searching. 